In this video, we're going to be looking at the basics of audio editing in GarageBand. To do this, we're going to use a track uh, from the band um, REM. Uh, the, the track is Shiny Happy People from their 1991 Out of Time album. And I'm going to import that. I got it out here on the, uh, the desktop. And here I go. I'm going to drag the track in and just drop it in the track window. And you'll notice it'll set up a region. The region is kind of a bronze uh, color um, or amber if you want to call it that. Uh, notice I'm, I'm moving the region around. You can drag it, um, but we're going to actually be trimming it, cutting it, and uh, doing things like that. This track head that was set up has the name Shiny Happy People. It takes on the name of the, the music that was imported. Uh, we could have imported MP3, AIF, WAV file, any kind of audio, and um, it'll look this color because it's imported. Uh, up here, there's a resize. Uh, I can zoom in so I can see the waveform cl more closely. I can zoom out so I can see the entire track. Over here we have the volume units meter, the VU meter, and um, let's go ahead and preview the track. I'm going to uh, hit the play button. And uh, also I'm going to turn off the metronome and the count in. We don't need to, to have that. In fact, for this project, I'm going to um, not look at the, the timeline here right now. is set to be viewed in measures and beats. Uh, if you zoom in, you can see you know, there's, uh, for instance, uh, measure one, measure two, measure three, and we're in 4-4 four, four time up here. But for this project, I just want to make a 30-second sound clip. So I'm going to choose here. I'm going to choose to view the timeline in time. And then notice now it's, it's seconds and minutes, uh, which is what I want. Anyway, as I preview, um, as we play it back, notice the volume units meter. And let's see how loud it is. Okay, that's good. Uh, we could turn it down maybe a little bit. We don't want it to pop too much. Okay, so um, this is an audio track. I, as I pointed out, it's this color. Um, for instance, if I was to record um, a microphone, which I'm going to do right now, you'll notice the audio. Let me, let me just record right now. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. So notice what I just recorded here. Uh, let me solo this track uh, so you can hear that. Testing one, two. Testing that's pretty loud. <laughs> but anyway, that is uh, blue because I recorded it with a microphone. And regions take on different colors to show the content that has been recorded. So a blue region is microphone, purple is guitar, um, green is MIDI. We'll do more of that in another video. And um, of course, orange is uh, audio that's imported. So right now, I'm going to get rid of this blue region and this, this audio track I just recorded and just stay with the one we have. Also up here is um, a piano track. Uh, let me go ahead and record a little MIDI for you um, so you can hear that. Okay, and you can see that track is green because it was an instrument um, that I, uh, a virtual instrument I was using, and that's MIDI. So we're gonna get rid of that too and just be left with our audio. And the main thing we're gonna do here is get rid of uh, the introduction um, to this piece, Shiny Happy People, and go right to um, when the music picks up tempo. So let's figure out where that is. So this is all still the introduction. Okay, so right about there is where I want to put a cut. So I'm going to place the playhead where I want it and go to the Edit menu and say Split Region at Playhead. And now notice we have actually a split there, right? So I'm going to get rid of, just by selecting this region and hitting the delete key on my keyboard, I'm going to get rid of that. And let's drag this back to the beginning. And now I'm going to put another cut after um, this um, up tempo. Okay. Let's let it play. And just going to keep going a little bit more. I'm going to wait till it's about 30 seconds. I could actually just, you know, uh, fast forward to here. So this is about, there we go, about 30 seconds. So at this point, I want to put another cut. So I'll put the playhead where I want to put the cut. Go to the edit menu, split regions at playhead. And this time, I'm going to select the latter uh, region, hit the delete key. And now what I'm left with, if I zoom, um, and you can see I'm just left with about 30 seconds of audio and that's what I want it to have I just wanted to wind up with 30 seconds of audio now it goes from the up tempo 
okay? To let's listen how it, it winds down. Okay, it's part of the first verse. All right, I'm going to import the same track again just to review that. I'm going to drag and drop Shiny Happy People. Notice the track head will set up uh, an audio track head here. And notice I have the audio in here. Um, same thing I had before. But this time I'm going to show you a different way to edit audio. And that way um, it's going to use what's called the resize tool. If I float my cursor over the edge of the region, you'll notice that it turns into a resize tool, which I can drag and it cuts off that earlier part of the audio. So I'm going to try to find the place where that up-tempo uh, in the introduction happened. Let's see if I got it. Oh, went way too far. Actually, what I could do is um, just use the, um, the waveform as a clue to where that happened. There, you can see it's right around here. So let's uh, drag it back. Okay, and let me see what this sounds like. Okay, it's right there. So that's where I started. Um, now I'm going to drag that back to the beginning. Oops, there we go. And let's have it end at the same spot. So I'm going to go to the end of the region. Uh, and when it, the resize tool appears, I'm going to drag it there. Notice I'm at the bottom right or the bottom left of the um, region. Because if I go to the top, I get what's another tool called the loop tool. And we do not want the loop tool. We want the resize tool. So now I have two very similar excerpts of the original track. Um, and I just wanted to show both ways to do it. I call the first way um, cut, cut, delete, delete. Because we put a cut over here. We put a cut over here. We deleted the earlier part of the region and the latter part of the region. So cut, cut, delete, delete. Or down here, just resize, you know, drag. Um, either way. All right, for right now, I'm going to just delete this track. We don't really need to have two tracks. So let me say track, delete track. And I'm going to uh, zoom in a little bit. Okay. And the next task we're going to do is put in a fade in and a fade out so that the music doesn't just pop right in. To do that, we need to turn on the automation. And that's what this tool is right here. When I click on it, notice I have an automation uh, tool on every track. Without it, I don't have the ability to automate. I can only change volume globally right here. But I want to actually fade in. So I'm going to use this automation. And you can automate a lot of items, but we're going to automate the first item, volume. That's the most common thing. Watch what happens. I'm going to click in the region, and it creates a um, line uh, where I can, and I can click along the line, and it creates these control points. So I'm going to drag up there, drag the first one down. And this will be a f a, about a five second fade in. And then at the end, we're going to do about a five second fade out. Uh, that way, the sound clip gently um, increases in volume and gently decreases. Let's listen to it. Notice the volume follows here. OK, and let's go to the fade out. And let's listen to that. And, and watch the volume um, units as it does it. And it's fading out. So what if I wanted to move this region? I want you to pay attention to um, this automation that we've added. Um, and especially, uh, we're going to watch in the Mix menu um, right here where it says Move Automation with Regions. So when I move the region, look at that. The automation follows. And I'm going to move it back, and the automation follows. So wherever this region is, there's a five second fade in, and there's a five second fade out. Um, but if that was not selected in the mix, if I turn that off, I can move the region independent of the automation, which generally you don't want to do. So uh, just be careful that if you're moving um, audio that you've edited and that you've applied automation to, just be sure that you have this move automation with regions on uh, so that that uh, automation follows. And that's about all we need to show you for this video. Happy editing.